A mom invites Tommy Robinson to mosque. A bold move for peace? Welcome back to the UK Times YouTube channel, your go-to source for the most intriguing stories from across the UK. Today, we have a story that's sparking conversation across the nation. In a surprising turn of events, an imam has extended an invitation to none other than Tommy Robinson to visit his mosque. Yes, you heard that right. Stick around as we dive into this unprecedented offer and what it could mean for community relations in the UK. This bold move by the imam has caught everyone off guard. But what's behind this invitation? And how has Tommy Robinson responded? We'll explore all that and more in today's video. But before we get started, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest videos. And if you enjoy this content, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We want to hear from you. What do you think about the Imam's invitation? Could this be a step towards better understanding and dialogue, or is it a risky move? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get the conversation going. An Imam has said he would welcome Tommy Robinson to his local mosque for food and conversation as part of efforts to address concerns and fears held by the far right. It comes as Muslim organizations welcomed the government's announcement of extra security for mosques, as a national monitoring group reported a five-fold increase in threats to Islamic communities. Mosques have been among buildings targeted in riots in the past week, as serious disorder broke out in several locations across the country. I would open the doors to the mosque to the far right for them to come and have dinner. Dot dot. Because acting in a violent manner does not achieve anything, it creates more frustration in society. Saba Ahmedi. Saba Ahmedi, 30, known as the Young Imam, on social media, extended an invitation to members of the far right to speak with him to ask questions they have about the religion of Islam. He posted on X, formerly Twitter, I would love to sit with the far right, have food with them, show them around my mosque and address the questions and issues they have with Islam because what they are doing right now is based on misconceptions and misinformation. Quote dot. Speaking to the PA news agency about the invitation to the Beitul Fuda Mosque in South London, he said he tries to use his social media platform to help educate people about Islam, help educate people about the true teachings of what my faith teaches on life as a Muslim. Asked if he expected someone like Tommy Robinson, a founder and former leader of the English Defense League and someone who has been accused of stirring trouble from abroad, to take him up on the offer, he said, I don't see why not. Quote dot. He added, if Tommy Robinson said, I will come to the mosque to see what it's all about, I would say, yeah. I'd invite anybody to the mosque to come and see what it's all about. I would open the doors to the mosque to the far right for them to come and have dinner and for them to come and see what life is like as a Muslim and address some of the concerns and fears that they have. Because acting in a violent manner does not achieve anything, it creates more frustration in society. Quote dot. Asked about levels of fear in Britain's Muslim community, he said, I know there are conversations happening in families where people are saying that they are scared to leave their homes and go to work. Naturally, you would be fearful. It is concerning. I think we need to stand together, united, to stamp out extremism and not let these people take control of what's happening. Quote dot. Of his own concerns, the imam who lives just outside London said, I have thought twice about going into London to attend my work. Naturally, you'd be a little bit more cautious. Quote dot. But he said he will continue his efforts to educate people on Islam, in his role as a member of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. On Sunday, the Home Office offered mosques greater protections, saying, rapid security deployment can be requested in order to allow a return to worship as fast as possible. It came as Tel Mama, which monitors Islamophobia in the UK, said a surge in extreme right-wing activity in the past week had led to a five-fold increase in threats to Muslim communities and a three-fold increase in hate crime incidents and crimes. There was also a rise in threats and attacks to mosques and Islamic institutions and centers reported to Tel Mama after the Southport attack last week, it said. We are hopeful that the government's announcement of extra support to mosques should offer some reassurance and help normal services to resume. Islamic Relief UK Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. 
And please don't forget like, share and comment.